Sub U20 here. Welcome to a place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today, I'm going to take on Lord Dohalim in Tales of Arise. In this video, as I'm taking on the boss Lord Dohalim, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to make this battle a hell of a lot easier because one misstep and Lord Do Halim will run you down. He is extremely powerful. So you have to watch out for a lot of different moves that he has and tricks up his sleeve. Before I get into it, I do want to say that if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tales of Arise content. I do a bunch of other video game videos and mystery box unboxing videos. So check those out as well after we defeat Lord Dohalim. Without further ado, let's take on Lord Dohalim and his amazing staff. His staff is absolutely awesome. I would like a staff. Anyway, first things first, before you get to Lord Dohalim, before you take on the trek with your crew into what you're trying to locate is the hospital. Be aware that you are not going to fast travel. Once you get to that area where the healing aura is right before the boss battle, you're not going to be able to fast travel. The reason why I bring this up is other boss battles in this game, you'll see the healing aura you can save right before then if you take on the boss a couple of times and you realize that the boss is too strong for you, you can fast travel out of there, grind a little bit more for items or levels, and then travel back to that boss battle. This boss battle, you cannot do that. You'll get to that healing aura. And if you face Lord Dohalim a couple of times, think he's too strong, you can't fast travel out of there. I learned the hard way. So needless to say, I did take on Lord Dohalim a few times before I figured out the right strategy. Now, when I got to that healing aura, I did not have a lot of items that I would have liked. I only had three life bottles, four peach gels, and two orange gels. So I had to come up with the best strategy as to not use items. And I had to beat Lord Dohalim twice. The first time I beat him, I got all the way to the ending cutscene. And during the middle of the ending cutscene, my PlayStation crashed. Needless to say, I had to restart the battle. Now, in the battle itself, I utilized Alfin, Law, Kisara, and Xion. I found that if I start out with Rinwell, she dies early on, and I have to use a life bottle early on in the battle. That's something I don't want to do. Like I said, I am limited on life bottles. With these four, what it allows me to do is it allows me to utilize Law and Kisara as my close range characters. Then I actually utilize Alfin and Xion as longer range characters. Now Alfin is going to be a damage dealer from long range. I know, surprise, surprise. And Xion is going to be my healer. My strategy is set to focus on heal. So Xion is going to be healing up my entire party. She's going to be focused on that. Now, as Alfin, this battle, you will have heard in different battles, if you've watched my previous boss battle videos, I've said don't shy away from Alfin's flame sword moves that allow you to deal more damage. In this battle, do not use his flame sword moves. Do not use his boost ability. Do not use anything that's going to damage your health. What you saw there was Lord Dohalim's charge. That is the only move that can be difficult to dodge in this battle. So you want to make sure that you avoid that. But if you get hit by it, and you saw me get hit by it, it did take away a decent amount of my life getting hit by it once. You know when he's about to charge, and if you only have half health, it could take you down. You know when he's about to charge, you want to really save up your items for that charge move. Because sometimes if you dodge at the wrong time, he's going to be easily able to take you out. So the strategy. Law and Kisara are going to be my up close and personal characters. Xion is going to focus on healing those two characters. Me as Alfin, what I'm going to focus on doing is I'm going to be a ranged character. All I'm going to do as Alfin is I'm going to use Demon Fang. 
Demon Fang, for those of you who don't know, is a move. It's a ranged attack that Alfin gets. He swings his sword along the ground, and it sends damage along the ground to the enemy. This move deals a lot, a lot of damage. So utilize this a lot, in really not just in this battle, but in almost every battle, because this does deal a significant amount of damage. Again, I'm not going to use any of Alfin's close range moves. What you'll see here is Dohalim is really focused on trying to chase me down. What this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to stay alive while I'm just running away from him. My teammates are going to be able to attack him, deal damage to him, even when he does get to the point where he's exhausted from his moves and that allows you to open up and attack him, still utilize Demon Fang because when he's ready, he's going to come up with some pretty powerful moves that, again, you want to dodge. Being far away from him is going to allow you to avoid those powerful attacks. Now, the other boost attacks, not Alfin's, but everyone else's boost attacks, the D-pad attacks, utilize those as soon as possible. Why? Because I want to deal as much damage as quickly as possible to Dohalim. Now, some of you may say, well, Dohalim, like we just saw there, casts magical abilities. Shouldn't we just wait for Rinwell to use her when Dohalim is casting those magical abilities? You can, I don't. The reason why I don't is because I want those boost abilities charging as often as possible. I want to use those as often as possible because they deal out a significant amount of damage. His magical moves are extremely easy to avoid. We've seen a few already. When he casts his purple void move, we already see it coming. We see that purple aura start to develop and we can easily get out of it. When he casts his ground move that calls up rocks and ground, we can also see that developing, not just from his casting circle that's coming on him, but also on the ground beneath us. They are extremely easy to avoid, so you really don't have to utilize Rinwell in that sense. If there were multiple enemies, then yeah, maybe you want to save Rinwell for that, but since there aren't multiple enemies casting, you really don't have to worry about his casting. So I want to use those boost abilities from all of my characters, except for Alfin, since Alfin drains his health as often as possible. Now, the most damaging move that I mentioned earlier is Lord Dohalim's charge. His charge is the hardest to avoid, and we're about to see it here. The first thing I notice is that if you start on the run, it'll be easier to dodge. You want to start as far away from his charge as possible. Start on the run, just start running a little bit. And then when he charges, you don't want to dodge right away. He needs to be close enough to you, so give it a little bit and then dodge. But if you're on the move already... He's not going to be able to hit you as easily, and you're going to more easily be able to dodge. So, don't stand still, wait for him to charge you, and then try and dodge, because bad things might happen. When you see him start to develop that yellow aura that says he's about to charge, like here, start on the run, start moving around the circle, and you can see there, it was more easy to dodge the first one. Now the second one, a little bit harder because I was closer to him, but the third one, I was able to get my perfect evade off. And then the fourth one, again, I was on the move and I was able to dodge him. So that made it a lot easier. So that is the strategy in order to easily defeat Lord Dohalim. Start with Rinwell on the bench. Utilize all of your character's abilities as often as possible, except for Alfin's. Alfin, the only thing you want to do with Alfin in this game is utilize in this battle, utilize Demon Fang as often as possible. Make sure Alfin's staying far away because you're probably going to get hit with Dohalim's charge, and so that's where you're going to want to heal up Alfin. You don't want Alfin to take other damage, and it's pretty easy to avoid Dohalim's hits if Alfin is staying far away and only using Demon Fang. You'll see that he really just has an area of effect 
within his own realm. He will sometimes chase you, but if you just keep running away on the map, your teammates will be hitting him, and you won't have to worry about him hitting you. The hardest part of this battle is going to be his charge, which you want to just stay on the move when he starts to charge up, and then dodge when he's relatively close to you. Don't dodge too soon, or he will hit you. He does get another move where he calls in rocks from the sky. It's another one that's easily avoidable. All of his moves are relatively easily avoidable. And you'll see here his rock move. You'll see the areas on the ground where the rocks are about to hit. I wouldn't try perfect dodging them. Just stay away from them. And while they're coming down, if you get into a safe zone, you can use Demon Fang. So really focus on utilizing Demon Fang. Stay away from Lord Dohalim and utilize Demon Fang as often as possible. Utilize the boost from every character except Alfin as often as possible. When he's getting ready to charge, make sure you're running around the map and dodge when he's relatively close to you. And you should be able to defeat Lord Dohalim. Again, I utilized this strategy twice to defeat him. I am playing on moderate difficulty, which is one below the hardest difficulty in the game. But utilizing this strategy will hopefully get you to defeat Lord Dohalim. And we are coming down to the end of the battle. He has a sliver left. At this point, he doesn't charge anymore. He utilizes this rock move a lot at the end of the battle. So, your allies are probably going to die to it, but you just make sure you avoid it. Utilize Demon Fang. Be patient. I know you're this close, but just be patient. All he does is, when he's at a sliver left, all he does is start dropping these rocks. So, just be patient. When you get that opening, utilize Demon Fang. Make sure when that circle on the ground appears that a rock is about to fall there just get out of there don't try and perfect dodge just make sure you stay towards the back of the circle then when you get your opportunity hit him with some more demon fangs and you should be able to take him down so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped out and if it did again make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more tales of our eyes content i hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time peace